Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Rocketeer to Bootsport here then with the Italian Grand Prix for RSF1. Yes, we're back here for the Grand Prix Formula 1 and Toxic's already gone around. So this one's all about getting my championship fight up to grabs. Science has now left the league, so championship's all up to grabs. Stretch at this point is a long way in front of me though. I do need to beat Stretch this Grand Prix if I'm going to get any points back. Around the last corner though, up into 7th gear. Coming towards the line, into 8th gear. What's this lap time going to be? P10. One and a one, one tenth down on the guy in P9. So not a great lap time that one. Now into the next sector we go. Clipping the apex, we validate. We're in the ground. We're going to go for a spin. Are we? No. Just managing to save that one. That could have been quite bad though. Now into Lesmo one. Out of Lesmo one. We're off to a bad line. We're off in the gravel. Are we? No. We managed to keep that one. We saved that one. Massive save here, which is quite good. And lucky. Right, last lap time this way. Just a minute and 20 seconds coming on the clock. Coming around the last corner. Coming towards the line. Is this good enough to get me into Q2? Yes, it is. It's P9. And we are through into Q2 then. So is my teammate Koala. Shall we see what uh, who's out there? It is Milzy and Camo. Camo, one of the championship leaders, is out of Q1. Ouch, that's not good to him. Now on board with Gasly. Yes, LR Glaze has gone down. Turn 2 has crashed. He's lost still on the exit. And he's into the barriers. That's a bad news from Blazer in this race as well. There's poly session already. Now into the final corner we go. Entering a fourth gear, going out to fifth gear, into sixth on the exit as well. Using the Astro to my advantage, usually up all the track, coming towards the line. Is this enough to get me into Q3? It is for now. It's uh, 119 1. That's a very impressive lap time. And it's in fact enough to get me through into Q3. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. And Blazer guns out, r is crash, Koala, Crazy Fish, Quetch Turtle, and Watch, you're all out. Of Q2, right Q3 then, this is the one that all counts now, it's the last couple of corners, let's move one, we've gone for a spin, wrong line, we're into the barriers, oh my god, that could have been racing, oh my god, there's a Merc there, I think it was Stretch, who uh, just managed to get past me there, now at this point we are still in P6, but we need to get a lap in really, all my laps so far have been terrible, it's this left hander, we've gone onto the curb, we're into the wall again, Oh dear. Now Bob Gasly's going through the fast left. Oh, he's in. Oh, it's scary. And he's rolled it. Gasly is out of qualifying in the biggest possible way that there can be. Ouch. Poor Gasly for that one. As you can see, peering on the bottom of my screen. Gasly's out. Spooky goes fastest with an 18.5, I think that one was. That's a very impressive lap time for Spooky, though, to get himself into the pole position. I don't think anyone's going to be able to beat that, but it's a scary chicane. Going through the first bit, into the left bit. We nailed this section. There's a car on my right and I've not noticed it. We are out of Q3. Because of not seeing Gasly's car. And you can even see it from someone else's POV. I've just not actually been looking up and focusing on the right hand side of my gearing. Looked up at the last second. And I am into Gasly. Ah, oh, the fastest possible point. And the worst moment possible. And as you can see from this camera angle, we hit this wall. And we also did our rear tyre. So that's two tyres out for this one. That's not good at all. Oh, but with Toxic as well as he goes heading towards Ascari. Goes into Ascari 1. He validates actually. Using the curb there. Out of this one. You can just see the car's there into the wall. And uh, myself also off the track. And that is sadly qualifying 3 done and over. P10 on the grid. Oh, hopefully we can improve on that coming up to this grid. Right. Oh, the formation lap then. This is where it all begins. What we got with tyres? Oh my god, I've gone for a spin of formation lap. Oh dear, and as you can see from uh, Mr. Ice Best, or is this crazy? This is crazy vicious angle. Just a sideways car out of turn two. <laughs> That's quite embarrassing. Here we go, the for 10 red lights, the Italian Grand Prix. Forest of what is underway. Can we get a good start from P10? We can get a much better start on the left hand side of Basic Gun Quakers as well. We're into P8 already. It's a very easy point there. Grunty's had a bad start as well, so alongside him, can he get to turn one? It's turn one we go, stretch up the inside. It's quiet, but there's a racing point. I see damage, that must be Camo. Go for a long way back, it's managed to crash into a lot of people. Chaos at the end of turn one. And out of turn two, we're into P6 this Grand Prix already. Overtaking four cars. What a great start we can have to this one. Next up is both the Mercedes drivers, who I want to beat stretch ideally. But beating Eagle would just be a benefit here. And he is in the way actually of the championship battle. We get a warning for track limits. Let's, go, let's not get too many of those in this Grand Prix. Heading to Lesmo 1. Got to hit the apex nice and easily there. And let's move on though, it's looking to be quite clean up a P6 start. Toxic is P8 at the moment and Grunty P7. Hopefully we've got more pace than both of those tires just to pull away from this uh, 
Got those behind. Now, looking at Eagle here. Is he going to go up the inside stretch? Is he heading towards the sky? Yes, he is. Full song alongside stretch. Up the inside of stretch of Sky. Stretch needs to space. And through goes Eagle. Can we make him an improved one? Then out of Ascari. We go side by side with stretch. But stretch using a lot more reach and overtake than us. Manages to stay in front at this point. Right, replay of the start then. Ten red lights and away they go. Spooky with the pole position. Don't forget, Swift in P2. Sadly gets disqualified because he's supposed to have a qualifying ban. Uh, so that's one less driver to really not have to think about. Right, it's Tell One. Who goes to the dive bomb? It's Camo. Yes, it is. Camo from a long way back. Causes absolute mayhem for himself. And a lot of drivers there. So we get a lot of great exit there on Grunty as well. And a turn two. Getting that advantage done. Let's go then. Moving on out of the going to the turn three very fast we'll see that on Bob Gazi what did his start look like he gets a much better start than Grunty like we did Grunty must be slacking on the start so are the marks for, for Gazi anyway and he gets to turn one then Gazi up to P4 at the moment this is a great start from Gazi he's going around the outside up the inside of the Red Bull Giant Rise there's contact Gazi's gone for a hard spin Gazi's race from gone from hero to zero just like that and he's dropped a lot of dishes now so it's going to be a tough job by Gazi to get himself back into this one P16 I believe it's definitely not the start he wanted. Off Bob with Toxic off the line. Uh, let's see what Toxic's doing then. Shifting straight up to Gitu. You can see the better start that we get on Toxic there. Oh, we got a, ble a bloody good start compared to the rest of the field. Heading to turn one though. Toxic very late on the brakes. You can see Camo coming from a long way back. Camo has caused absolute chaos there. You see this bug car Gazzy on the left hand side as well. So Gazzy going backwards, Camo going backwards, on Bob with Crazy Fish, further back in P13 on the grid, away they go, he's got the uh, medium runner there, of Koala actually on the right hand side, but he's battling quite a turn to the one shot of the line, do I say that, not a great start for a Crazy Fish, as we see on the right hand side, Camo going for a huge dive bomb, course damage, off the track goes Mr. Crazy Fish, he tries to keep up damage, and he's in fact got damaged by hitting Koala, oh dear, that's just the, just the way it goes for Racing Sadly, there's Gazzy on the left hand side, Shot behind Crazy Fish, so Crazy Fish needs to get the one position back. But Gazi's going to be looking to get back past him with the damage that Crazy is carrying. Heading towards turn three, turn four even. The left hand Gazi up inside Crazy Fish, he's got no damage. And can get that pass neatly, neatly, tightly done. Now heading towards Lesbo 1, surely Crazy Fish has been thinking about pit stop. Look at the damage through Lesbo 1, it's causing him. Surely that this is going to cause Milty to try and get past at some point as well. Gazi looking up the inside of the car in front. There's contact. Another car is offered to that right hander of Lesbo 2. I think it was Camo again. What a terrible stop for Camo in this Grand Prix. And even more so, Gazi as well being involved in quite a few incidents. Gazi re past the crazy fish around the outside of Scary though. Oh, what a drama this is turning out to be. On lap 2 then, this is the ball of Koala, my teammate. Out of turn 2 then, we go. It's been badly enough to be blazing guns and Christ Turtle is blazing going to look up the inside of turn 3 the fast right hunter yes he is it's up the inside of Koala not Koala Christ Turtle Christ Turtle to the grass he's done well not to lose that car now heading into turn 4 this left hunter Christ Turtle is up the inside the door's been shut Koala's got damage this has been an absolute chaos race for my teammate who's been involved in another incident in the Grand Prix Great Fish decides to stay out doesn't pit by the way now let's see into this turn four. You can just see the this car's off everywhere. Crazy's got red front wing damage now. And yellow front right, so he's gonna have to pit in this Grand Prix. Into Les Bowad side by side with Koala. BSC, My teammate the Koala's the just about to stay in front. The virtual safety car comes out. Now it's definitely unlucky for all this drive from Gazi a one shot re involved as well. Oh Bubba Gazi then, through turn three. He's just managing to get this one also. He sees the grass coming up. I think that's what's caused Quest Turtle to lose out here as well. He's got 30 tiles, and he probably should have backed out, to be honest. And that, look at the mayhem it's caused. Oh, dear. Oh, he's made more contact on the exit there as well of Crazy Fish and Mr. I'm trying to think of that was Koala. And the Virtual Safety Cup being called Not Happy Drivers. That's a definite. Around the last corner we go up to gear 5. We are sending it here. I think our tough watch has been caught napping, you know, on the Virtual Safety Cup restart. He's definitely had a terrible one, and he's using a loss of ERS at this point. Average mix to try and stay in front of us, heading towards turn one. We're up the inside of stretch, are we? Yes, we are. Side by side of stretch, then heading towards turn one. Who's going to break latest? I think stretch is just a bit later on the brakes to me. Gets me with done and keeps onto it. Out of turn two, then we're looking to go for a switch back on stretch here. If we really want this Grand Prix to go our way, we need to get past stretch here ASAP. Doing fast turn three, we're using up some ERS a little bit. 
We're onto the grass slightly there. We used to get to rich bits as well, but no move being made there. Further back, one for the creative fish out of the pit lady comes. He's side by side with, I think that was Camo. Camo must have pitted then, as soon as he got that wing damage. Oh, it's coming for the mistake through turn two. Okay, got that car completely sideways, now side by side with crazy fish. Round the outside in turn three, crazy fish goes. What a brave driver this one is. Goes round the outside, gets the move done. And that is him now as P14. Good job by crazy fish in the scrub three. Getting some positions back after a terrible start, you've got to say. So he's making a great fight back. On board myself then. Heading towards turn one on lap four now. Laps to go by like there's no tomorrow. Uh, it's now still behind stretch at this point in the Grand Prix. Out of turn two. Oh, we've got a very nice exit here. Oh, he kind of always lost the car there. So not the greatest exit in the world. But it's just enough to come back at stretch to its fast turn three. The other flags for the back. I think there's been a crash again. But nothing to matter. ERS bridge makes up the inside of stretch, are we? We've got purple. Yes, we are up the inside of stretch. Four stretch. Cross chicane. Yes, we have to there. We get the position past stretch. But i got to say, we're going to have to let Stretch go here in this Grand Prix. Because that was a bit too aggressive. Three Lesbo 1. Heading towards Lesbo 2. Hit the apex. Slip in the curve nicely. We left off here just so we could definitely show that we're letting Stretch go. After that move we did on him was a bit forceful. Oh! Quake has managed to get past us as well. So let Stretch go. It's also meant that Quake gets by. But here you go for the replay cameras. You can just see... We lay up the inside, we then force Stretch off the track, so we let Stretch help the fish him back. Probably should let him go there, because the Quakers wouldn't have got back past us, but it is what it is, the constant effect might have caused Quakers to do some damage. I'm about safety, so probably wouldn't have worked out in that manner. Meanwhile, off your one shot round the outside of Crazy Fish in turn three. Gets the inside line to turn four, and one shot, it's now got himself to P14. Crazy Fish back into P15, but he could do a good job here if he just stays with those guys in their little, little battles further back down the field. As now, Quakers is up, well, Stretch is under pressure by Quakers. Quakers has got the fastest lap the Grand Prix. He's got loads of pace in this Grand Prix at the moment. Heading into so on. Quakers then takes the P5 at this point then, and uh, gets that position done, early and dusted. You will notice the Blazing Gun is on the medium command side, and he's now got a penalty. That's not gonna help him on his way back through the pack. Now we've got overtake on, we've got race picks on, oh we're going to go up the inside of Stretch, we've been in this position before, Stretch managed to cover us off though, and just about, we're going to have to stay behind Stretch heading towards let's move one, no move there, so out of power bollock at the last corner on the track, it used a little bit of URS just for a split second, I don't want to use up too much at this point in this Grand Prix, DRS is now being used as well, is this going to help us catch up to Stretch a little bit, we've definitely got lower wings than him I believe, because look how much we are staying with him. We used a little bit more overtake there just to make sure we could go for a dive over turn one. We go for it in first gear. That's not where you want to be. It's turn one. Stretch gets it all wrong on the exit in turn two, though. We had overtake. We're in rage, but go around the outside of Stretch heading towards turn three. Holding around the outside of turn three, then. Stretch on my inside still. We're still side by side. This is the worst place on the track to be side by side. Heading towards turn four, the left hander. Still up the inside of Stretch on the inside line. It's turn four. We get the position into P6. Surely now we can just focus on trying to catch up the Quakers. We get past Stretch into Lesbo 1. Though we're very wide. We miss the Apex by a country mile at Lesbo 1. Stretch is surely going to be able to get us back at the next year straight now. Into Lesbo 2. Get the car a little bit sideways using the overtake button. I know Stretch is going to be so much quicker than me with the overtake button and the DRS and the Rich Mix. Surely Stretch is going to go up the other side of the towards the Sky. We're not even going to fight it. Stretch repasses me at the Sky there. Gets me back. It's P6. And all this batting is just letting Quakers escape. That's just a little bit more out of DRS range. That's not what I wanted. Moving on towards lap 7 now. Stretch is still too tense for me. Oh, we're look on the inside towards Ascari. This would be brave if I got the inside here. There's a little bit of contact. A little bit of rubbing. Stretch will lose the car. But the sportsmanship I'm going to show here is I'm not going to overtake Stretch. I've made him weak. I know if I made move now, I'll give him a penalty. But I'll get a penalty for it because... Oh my god, he's lagged. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Into Parabolica, the final quarter on the track. Can we get a better exit than him? Into Overtake, into Rich Mix. Stretch is still lagging all over the place at the moment. That's dangerous. I don't want that at all in this property. We've got DRS. Stretch does it now, though. And that should be an easy pass. It's P6 now. Up the inside towards Turn 1. We're going to take his line away as well, just so he can't respond. It's Turn 1. Hit the Apex. Still wide. We still haven't made an Apex after we, we overtake Stretch. That's not good. I want to improve on that. Now, green flag, someone has retired in the pit lane. One lap later, though, Stretch is now in the DRS. He's going to have the overtake button. I'm going to go to Ventus. I don't want Stretch overtaking me here. That is exactly what he's doing towards someone. There's contact. We've almost lost it in the braking zone. 
Stretch round the outside of me into turn one though, gets position back and into turn two he also gets it. So nice job by, by Stretch. But now out of turn two, this is my strong point. It's overtake, it's a rich mix. We've got a slipstream, we might be able to get back into turn three. Not quite close enough though. But what about turn four? I don't think we're close enough for a turn four lot dive bomb either. So Stretch should be able to hold it. He's got a lock up though, it's turn five. Made a mess of that, but heading towards Lesmo one. I'm not quite close enough this time round for a move. Into Lesmo one then. Clipping the apex, this is just setting me up. Toxic further back is looking for a move on me as well. But safety car. Hold up. Eagle's crashed on the right hand side. Eagle has lost it out of P4 in this Grand Prix. That's not good for him at all. Now, Grace Fish, he's got a red delta. Grace, you need to slow down. He's not slowing down at all. He's got a drive through. Crazy fish, and he's just noticed now. Penalty. Oh, given... crazy. Now, that, that's a nightmare for him in this Grand Prix. Moving on to lap 12 then. It's Parabolica. I'm going to take a quick little drink. Right, there you have it then. My drink has been done. Moving on then. On oh, the safety car restart. Coming across the line, we're in P8. And Spooky, 0.4 seconds ahead. I could probably try and catch up to Spooky here. Who's, uh, he's had a very decent restart, to be fair. The guy on the safety car restart. Did catch up to the safety car, so it's a little bit of chaos here out of turn two, though. Oh, line is done. Spooky not using any rest here, or is he? He's just very slow out of turn two. My strongest place on the track as well. Round the outside of Spooky, only in race breaks. A bit of contact there between me and myself and Spooky into turn three. Now he's towards turn four. I have the inside line of Spooky. Spooky round the outside of me. Just gonna have the inside line. Get some bad X and we go round the outside of turn five with Spooky. We get the move done. Now he gets the last move one. Spooky's gonna look for an inside move. No, he's not. He's hit the back of me. Spooky's got damage then. Heading towards Lesmo 2. Breakers late as we dare. Spooky's hit us again. Spooky, stop hitting us, man. Ah, uh, sadly, that means Spooky's off the track. He's hit us twice. Lost his whole front wing. And crashes off, which is fine with me. Because you know what? If you hit me like that twice, you'd serve to go off track. Which means Toxic gets the advantage here. So Spooky, in fact, actually lost me a position. Ah, there's a little bit of contact with these. Toxic through Ascari. Just left me zero room. I left you space at Ascari term, well, the first bit, so I don't know why you left me no space at the second bit. Thanks, Toxic. I appreciate it. On board with Spooky, though. It's turn three. He's round the out. We're going to go round the outside of Spooky. He knows we're there, so he's got to break late as he dares. It's the first bit. Turn four. Then it's turn five. Tries to give us enough space. He does, in fact, give us a lot of space. But sadly for Spooky, that's not enough for us. It's this right hand at Lesbo 1, and he hits the back of us there. Ah, oh, spooky. And then into Lesbo 2, he hits back of us again, but that's where the clip ends. So sadly, I don't show that bit. Now heading into turn 1, Toxic make a, minute, miss, a little bit of an error there. Gets a lock up on the right front, so sure it's to be a nice and easy pass by us. Out of turn 2, Toxic is pushing us here. It's great sportsmanship being shown once again by Toxic, who sadly I'm getting frustrated at this point already. Heading towards turn four though. Toxic, you can look up the inside of me. Gonna shut the door anyway. If he was up the inside of me, I would have turned in. Because that is the way that he is driving towards me. That's the way I'm gonna drive towards him. It's Let's Move One then. Who's next up? It is in fact RSF on stretch. He's battling with RSF on Milzy. Where's Milzy come from? He's at the back, I thought, a while ago. In P16, he's now into P P5. But I'm assuming it's because he didn't pit under safety car like the rest of us did. Toxic going around the outside of me. Heading towards the sky. He hits the back of me, in fact. So around Ascari goes loose to the outside line. He forces me to come across Ascari 1 and gets position by being off the track. So cheers for that Toxic. How is that not a penalty? I don't know. Because if you force a driver off the track and then go off yourself, you're supposed to get the position back. But the stewards say no. That's, that's not, you know. And he's also moving in a straight line there towards Parabolica. Cheers Toxic for this interesting driving you were showing me today. And towards turn 1 aboard my teammate Koala. He's got RPL 1 shot into turn 1. He gets hit in fact. Quala got hit by Camo again at turn one. Camo, please be careful at turn one. Twice now he's done it. And this time it's cost my teammate massively. And there you have it as well. And Toxic, in fact, was that... I don't know who that is. Who's the other running driver? I think it's... I don't know. It was one shot. One shot got damaged in all of that. I expect. Now moving on to lap 10 after that little contact was made. It looks like Toxic is actually pulling away a little bit here. He's going up the inside of RSF1 stretch. Is he? Yes, he is. Gets the move done on RSF watch stretch. They're both weak off the corner. We're going to check it to overtake. It's a Ray Tricks heading towards Let's Move 1. Up the inside of stretch. Up the inside of Toxic. Toxic says, no, you don't. Not that time round. So Toxic hold us to P4. Into Let's Move 2, though. Toxic makes a mistake. He's gone sideways down the exit there. We're going to check it to overtake. We're going to check it to Ridge. We're into Ridge Mix as well. With the slipstream heading towards the scar. We're going to go to the outside. Toxic is weaving in a straight line. 
stop weaving. Race click. Please race cleanly. This is going to cause a crash. Otherwise, it was Sky One. I got the track. That's my fault. I don't want to spun it out there. So I was lucky to keep uh, control of my car. Oh, that could have been me toxic to the barriers at the sky. That would not have been good. Heading into turn one. Heading towards turn two. Out of turn two then. My strongest point on the course. It's the overtake. It's race mix once again. Fast after the race goes to Blazer Guns. Through turn three. We've got a great run here on Toxic Liberty outside. Heading towards turn four. Toxic give us space. Toxic not leave us. We're into the barriers. We were off out of this race, surely. Oh, Toxic. And he's got a quali band for that. Oh, and then on the rejoin, Toxic wraps me again. You're supposed to rejoin safely, Toxic, not just cut across the track like that. Oh, God. And that's giving me a five-second stop go as well. Right, well, let's have a look at Toxic's POV, because you know what? You've seen mine. Let's just see it from Toxic's, because for mine, it looks quite bad. Toxic then. Turn three. He's got pressure from us. On the right side, look at the space he's got to the left-hand side, and he's just not leaving me. And that means we're both into the wall. Both got seriously badly damaged. On board for RSF on stretch, by the way, who we are supposed to be at this Grand Prix, is now running P4 after this crash that Toxic has caused. Ah, oh, it's just a joke. Give space. It is it's really not hard. Nice You've got all that space on the left hand side, and you still punt me into the barriers. It is it's so bad. I right, look at this. It's. Singapore's next. You've got to leave space in Singapore, and if you don't, it's going to cause even worse scenes. And I just hope we don't have to deal with toxic at Singapore. Right, meanwhile, though, for the safety car restart here, out of Parabolica, this is, looks like a mess and a half. Out of the last corner we go, then into race mix and overtake. This is going to be an absolute chaotic restart to this Grand Prix. On lap 23, four laps to go. Where can we come? We're in P10 at the moment, exactly where we started this Grand Prix, uh, 22 laps to go. It's turn one. Looks pretty safe for cleaning at the moment. We haven't made a single overtake. We haven't lost an overtake. So it's not bad at the moment. Off the track there was someone. I don't know who it was. But it's turn three. They're side by side with Millsy. Millsy just covering turn three. We're going to go around the outside of Millsy though. Should be able to get this move done. Heading towards turn four. Yes we do. Quite a turtle on the left hand side. We're going around the outside of Quite a turtle. We're going to have the inside line to turn five. we got two cars there in two corners. Let's go. We're now to P8. Next up then is Toxic who has crashed me out before. We're not going to want to stay behind Tox for too long. Meanwhile, on the city car restart for Crazy Fish, this is what happened to him. He's getting overtaken there by my teammates. Do you need to be patient a little bit? Off the track goes crazy there. Okay, Get a bit of an there on his judgment of me. Oh, Crazy's got a lot of time lost towards myself, which means he's going to come through a lot of breath by Koala, you've got to say. Heading towards turn one. Koala's a lot later on the brakes. It's turn one. As Koala's hit the back of Millsy, up the inside goes Grunty of Crazy Fish as well. So it's good to see a lot of late battling going on. I, has, I think it was a backfucker on the left hand side actually. I don't know what it was. But stubborn reason there was yellow flags there. And there was a car that went straight on. But I don't know who it was. Driscari. It's carrying up a lot of pace here. Driscari. Taking a lot of confidence. And now side by side with Toxic. On this straight. Toxic we've been in the barriers before. You know to leave space. He's not leaving any space. Now Toxic leaves space. It's parabolic in the last corner. Toxic still there on my right hand side. I give him space. Toxic just says. Squeeze me off the track again. Toxic, leave more space than that. We go around the outside of Toxic. Get me done, though. It's P7 now. Next up is RSF on stretch. Your championship leader at this point in time. Guy, I have no idea how much because I haven't done any mathematical. There, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. But stretch makes a mistake. It's turn one, though. Out of turn two. Stretch has made a mistake. RSF on one shot has made a huge mistake there. On the right hand side, trying to pass one of the medium command runners. That's it going well for, for our PL one shot. As our stretch gets past him. Look at one shot, he's trying to get back past Stretch here. We're up the inside of our PL one shot. One, we've tied in on us. Probably should have backed out of that myself, but we are a racer, and I'm a bit frustrated at this point because of that collision right there. Now, this is what happened between myself and our PL one shot. It's turn four. Just leaves no space. My team has got damage, I think, and so it's Toxic. Toxic definitely picks up some damage from that. Now, I'm going to grunt, uh, Crazy Fish. He's got Grunty behind him, and he's got Quirty done on his front. Quirty's made a big mistake, Parabolica. Wrong line there from Quirty. Leads to Crazy Fish gets him around the final corner. Nice move there by Crazy Fish himself. Yeah, to himself past is another driver. He's on the point of verge. Now heading towards turn one on Bobba Grunty. Grunty's on brakes. Grunty's made a huge mistake in turn one. Cuts across turn three, and he's gone for a spin. Huge mistake by Grunty there. What a mess that's turning out to be for Grunty, turn one. 
very crazy points today. And as you can see, just no slowdown at all. I wonder if he had a brake failure. Because that's so bizarre for Grunty with experience to do that. So I wonder if there was a brake problem there for Grunty, which sadly managed to avoid everyone. I mean, that is actually impressive how he's avoided everyone and not actually had any problems with it. On board with Toxic though, it's turn one Koala's there in front as well. And as you see, a bit of contact there for Paul Grunty, who hits Toxic. Toxic's hit every gyro in this Grand Prix so far. And he's hitting more by looks of it. So, moving on then, out of, out of, sort of turn two, as Grunty just goes off, that's why the yellow flag's going on. We're catching off the RPL one shot one more time. So you're going to look at the inside of uh, RSF one straight towards turn four. Too far at this point, you would have said. It's turn uh, four, clip the apex into turn five, the right hander. Big mistake by our RSF one stretch, I've noticed that. RPL one shot's kind of just backed out the mood there. Into Lesbo one, we're side by side with RPL one shot. Oh, we've almost lost a car. Out Lesbo one, into Lesbo two, they've got the inside line on one shot. Get the move done, we're to P6 now. This is a drive, come back and a half for myself. RSF one stretch the next up, then I is the best. We could still get a podium in this Grand Prix with just two laps to go. Though we need, we need to hurry up. I can see the podium, I can see the leader in fact. And it's turn two. Stretch then, making a bit of a mistake out of turn two actually. We've got a run on stretch here through turn three. This fastest point on the corner, off the course really, which is the corner. Side by side with stretch, stretch trying to squeeze us there. Heading towards turn four, I'm not having any of it. Up the inside of stretch though, into turn four, into turn five. Get me done into stretch. Now it's P5, effectively P4 because, well, like I said, that fry driver is being disqualified because he didn't take his qualifying back. So, P4 of the squad three started, well, technically got through the pack of P9 then. So this isn't bad at all, there you go, there's the move up the inside, classic as you want. Next up is Ice the Best for P4 on this Grand Prix. At this point, I know I just got to beat Ice the Best. Through turn one, and into turn two, want to get a nice exit here. We're on the softs, Ice is on the mediums, which means we have definitely got more grip, which means we've got wrist rigs, we've got overtakes to play with here. Ice has already run out, you can see that because his red light's flashing. We always hit the back of Ice, side by side with Ice, heading towards turn four. And Ice is going to have to back out of this one because we have full car widths in front at this point. We get past Ice there, doesn't fight it too hard. Next up is Quakers, and Blazer Guns got penalties for days. So we're going to end up in P2 at this rate in this Grand Prix. We've already got a battle Quakers, it's 1.7 seconds in front. Can we get that gap down to about something we could maybe push him into a penalty, you know? Because if he gets a penalty, we've technically won this Grand Prix because of the Fry Joe being disqualified. LR Blazers getting a penalty is going to drop massively down the field. I was to say that he's now got 15 seconds, so not great for him at all. Drew Ascari for the final time though, onto the curb, onto the exit. We have overtaken six cars in the space of literally four laps. That's not bad at all. And we're about to overtake more than into Parabolica for the final time. Going deep actually, just thinking about penalties and that, not really trying to crash. Want to get to the line as fast as possible in case other people have penalties. Coming to the line, it's P3, effectively P2 because Swift gets disqualified. Swift had a penalty in fact, which is why won on track, we didn't know that at the time. Into a scary. RPL, well, not board, Millsy, sorry. Toxic's behind him. Dogs are giving Millsy some rubbing and some limit pace here. Millsy then, side by side, Toxic into the final corner for the last time. Toxic choosing to get to the outside. Millsy up the inside. Four soft mark, uh, Toxic here though. And thankfully, Millsy managed to hold on here from Toxic. Well, does he? Bit of contact coming up towards the line. Millsy is surely going to beat Toxic. Yes, he does. Nice battle in there towards the end. What about Crazy Fish then? Well, how has this race ended? Well, he's got no penalties, by the way. So, how has he gone through this race with the amount of battling he's had this evening? He hasn't got a single penalty. He's got the side by side battling going in front of him. He's at P12 at this point. How many fishes is he going to gain with no penalties? He's surely going to jump up the order massively. And he gets P7. He up took five cars by having no penalties. Great job by Crazy then. But even better job by Quakers to win this Grand Prix. Swift, I feel so bad for, gets P2. After what half of C has happened, he's been disqualified for not taking his quality playing ban. That's very harsh for him indeed. And Ice the best then is surely be on P3, so not bad drive from him either. Uh, people, quality mentions Koala gets a good point. Great job by him. And fast up the race going to Blazer Guns after the amount of penalties he's had. I'm not surprised he got that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.